Um, Flip Skater 24, I think, wanted me to make a tutorial about how to do ramp slow motion in iMovie 06. Showing you how to make the ramp slow motion, but also, it, I've found that if you export a clip from iMovie 06 up onto YouTube, the audio gets all messed up. So I'm going to show you how to fix that, but you'll need, for this you'll need iMovie 06 and 08. Um, if you only have 08, which I did, you can just go to their website and download 06 for free. Um, just look up iMovie HD, I think it's called, on the internet and you'll probably find it. What you want to do is have iMovie 08 open and iMovie HD. What you want to do is, this is all in iMovie 08. Make a new project, we'll name it, uh, <laughs> Flip Skater 24. Alright, so you have the new project. Then what you want to do is find the clip you want to ramp. So what you want to do is get the actual amount of footage that you want to edit. So I don't want all this, obviously, but I need to kind of crop it. Alright, that's pretty good. It's 3.9 seconds. Uh, here, I'll show you the clip. Yeah! Alright, so once you have that clip, what you want to do is export it. So to share and go to export movie. Don't do it using QuickTime. This video is smaller. It's messed up. Um, it especially screws up fisheye. Alright, just do export movie. Name it as a guess we're naming it Flip Scare 24. Name it whatever you want. Uh, play it wherever you want. I have in movies. It doesn't matter. Trust me. And click export. So it is now exported. You won't get a message saying that it's exported, but it will be. So now I'm going to go over to iMovie HD. It doesn't matter what project you're on, but you probably want it to be empty. So you go to File, Import. This will pop up. Select whatever you named the file. Double click on it. And that whole thing will go away and it will be a bar. Alright, now you have the clip in iMovie HD where you can do the editing. So then get the clip down into the place where you edit stuff. Alright, so you now have that clip in the timeline, right? What you want to do is go to the timeline, grab this, and drag it to where you want the slow motion to start. I want it to start right as I've popped Ollie. So let go, it'll stay there, and press Command T, and it'll place a marker there. As you see, there's a marker there. And now this is where the ramping comes in. Get this thing onto your first marker. It'll just stick onto it. And what I do is press space until it makes a little space there. And then I press control T again. Do to make it easier. Go here and make it bigger. Makes it easier for me. So then just keep doing that and be watching the video as you're doing it and to see where you want it to be the slowest so I'm gonna do a kinda crappy one it'll just be five of these boxes then a long one then another five about sometimes it's longer it's hard to fix that it shouldn't matter too much extra long one About this long and it's all personal choice how long you want to make it it'll just affect how the slow motion looks at the so now right here is the slowest point and then you want to do another four or five after this so a little uneven so now you have all these here comes the actual ramping part go to the first one for slow mo block, click on just that one. Then you go over to editing, and you go to fast slow reverse. And then down here is a little bar. 
what you do, drag it a little bit for each one. Don't go all the way to slowest. Right, for the first one, it, it would be, I'm just going to make go that much. And, you know, I'm kind of doing it just haphazardly, you know, just randomly putting focus yarn on this. Probably the cleaner, the slow motion will look. So click check which is down there and see that one's slower now and then you click on the next one and this bar will stay where it was which is at a bit slower move it over a bit more and then click apply or check doesn't matter and go to the next one make it ah oh, I didn't know how many I had so this will be a very bad ramp slow motion but at least I'm teaching how to do it, right? So this is where it's the slowest. Here, the bar is still there. Drag it back a bit. It's the exact same process, except you're making stuff gradually slower. I have like five more left. Okay, so I finished that. I put it back to a smaller size so you can kind of see. This is a very bad one, but you can see it's kind of ramped. You know, starts... You know. Alright, so now view the clip. Make sure you like it. And if you like it, you'll have to now re-export it to iMovie 08. Th this is where you could export it from here onto YouTube, but then the audio would get messed up and it's just not worth it so save it now what you do is go to file export compress movie make sure it's full quality or it'll look very bad and click share then this will come up Play movies doesn't matter again save it go compress and again no message but it is compressed iMovie oh, wait. here file import movies now look for flip skater movie double click on it again and it's importing and it will be at the bottom of whatever event you were in now sometimes it gets messed up when you move it from iMovie HD to iMovie 08. So if that happens, either just try it again, or trim the clip that's in iMovie 06. But this one's good, you can see the sound's all in sync, it doesn't go quiet. So uh, that's basically how you do that. Now I'll show you some ramp slow mo this ramp slow motion, and some failed attempts, what can happen.